hello guys welcome to the channel all right we have here a lenovo uh chromebook to uh, put a window on it yeah we have windows on it um chrome os sorry on it already so we want to uh convert it to windows all right so the first thing we do we have to okay we have lose out the back knot and to disable the protection right okay that is very important we have to do that um this is my first time of doing this kind of Lenovo okay so I want to just show you how it's done okay this is not the type C using a charger its port is a very small port um, so it's a small tiny Lenovo's charger okay so after losing the bulb we are going to lose that is the protection right the nuts there using this nuts out it's not the battery is I remember I told you that if you are doing um, a system that is a type 6 always the battery you have to remove that is the types that is the protection right okay we plug the charger escape refresh power button okay that would take us um, to where we have to um, let just see it's going to show yes then control D then after control D it will take us down here the location is off okay then after that control D we pressed and then we are getting to the developer mode as you can see it's stream transiting to the developer mode after this after this process you know we have to put in our details not wasting much time we are putting our details okay so what we just have to do now um it will we get to the desktop okay after putting our details that is your email and your password okay we have to press ctrl alter um front for, forward or f2 okay then we get here to the terminal we type our root then we type in our our code uh, chromeso os slash uh, set dev password okay and we put in the password admin this remember this admin won't show the password but just type it if you recognize it okay after that we go back which is control alter back forward and uh -huh. now we go to their website mr chromebook all right we go and copy out our code at uh, firmware utility script which we are there then we have to copy it we have to copy it let me shift to copy this way you have to press control sorry shift to do that okay we are pasted in our shell by doing this shell we have to press control alt uh, t terminal to get to the terminal they will press admin as password to pass after putting the code okay as you are seeing it is loading this all this you have to do with an internet you have a good internet you can do it all right without internet you cannot do that okay please you make sure you have a good internet it's it will store okay all right she is going yes no then we have to plug in our flash drive to back up the the former this firmware after this firmware we have to plug in to download a new firmware sorry okay so it is done backing up the, the former firmware we pull out the flash and it's downloading the new firmware which is uh, the windows firmware uh, where you have platform where you can put in windows you also with this platform you can also put in uh, ubuntu um, ubuntu you can also put in any linux uh, operating system at your own wish okay so wait for it to finish after this uh we are going to run the windows okay so i'm going to only show you the process of running the windows uh for the drivers um uh, i will just drop it on my description of the video later on those have been watching my video all right uh you know the process after from now all we have to do is um 
after this process is going to download the new firmware as you're seeing it's working okay after this um we have to restart the system we have to restarting the system they will try to run a windows on our bootable flash drive okay that's what we have to do okay so if this video is helpful please do well to subscribe like and share this video to your friends to your loved ones all right we are done there okay now is to put our flash okay then um, press escape then we're gonna select the flash in the boot menu okay then we select windows 10 lights all right okay okay i was i was i wanted to address this issue of uh, drivers of uh, chromebook okay now there are drivers in chromebook uh, that are in cold stack that you need to purchase okay and uh, most at times most of these old chromebooks uh you cannot easily find their display drivers because many people have been asking of that display drivers that is not working they want to use for projection they want to use for um maybe their brightness is too high okay we are still doing research on it okay but for now it's not available for now okay it's not available for now what we have to do here is to delete everything here okay as you are seeing from the video okay as i was saying it's not available for now okay so please just hold on but you can use chromebook for mainly it's mainly for online tasks get okay? it's mainly for online tasks you can use it and do other things but just that those functions in your display may not work but it's not all there are some there are some chromebook that you can get those display drivers but it's not all and when you and when people message me on my whatsapp i i give you a clarity of it i told you if it's available i will tell you it's, it's available if it's not i will tell you not so that you don't overstress yourself in doing what is not working okay so we are formatting it and we are seeing what's going on we are going to wait for a while after this um after this process it gets to the desktop I'm not going to show you how to install drivers. Uh, the drivers to install it is just the same way I've been doing in the other videos. I'm just going to drop the drivers on the description of my video. Okay, I'm going to drop the drivers there. But if you do not see the drivers, you can also message me on my WhatsApp. Okay, maybe I will do it if I forget. All right. So after this, we are done. Okay uh please i really appreciate those that have been subscribing those that have been standing by me those that have been uh, following me up uh supporting me best appreciation to you all thank you for that support thank you for doing that all right so after getting ready it will get to where you put your your name and your your password if you want to put a password in your system then after that it will get you i think to the desktop um after doing other processes it will get to the desktop then when you are done with that i think we are done as i said okay if you have any questions uh, to ask me you can inbox me oh yeah my whatsapp link is on each of my videos you can definitely link us up with talk where you complain your problems um far and free i will be able to respond to you okay um please don't fail to subscribe okay and follow me up more for more videos like this okay and uh, anything contribution you have to place in you are free to do that drop your comments on the on the comment section okay all right this is where you put your name after putting your name you can create a password if you wish okay just a moment after now it gets to the desktop all right so as i said i'm going to drop my 
the drivers on the description of the video all right i'm going to do that all right thank you for watching once again see you in my next video uh, okay anticipate more for um linux operating systems i'll be doing more of linux operating systems to show you how to install the operating systems thank you have any in mind you still you can still contact me to let me know all right and i will try to do the video see you next all right bye for now